Oh, uh, yeah. Oh. Uh, yeah, right up. That's right. This is bad hosting on my part. Sorry, everybody. It's embarrassing. There you are. Put your hands together for Matt, everyone. <laughs> All right, so this story is also from uh, my freshman year of college, way back in 2010. Uh, so I was at uh, the University of Pittsburgh, and uh, there was a lot of students that got in that year, I guess, so uh, it wasn't that special. So uh, there was an overflow, and some people were staying in the Wyndham Hyatt, uh, I think, hotel, and some kids were staying in converted lounges, like me. Uh, so instead of like two in a room, we had four, and uh, we were actually loving it. Uh, so one day, we were sitting around watching TV, or I don't even know, and there's just some ringing coming from God knows where. And uh, I was like, do you guys hear that ringing? Or do I have a tumor in my head? Like, what's going on? And like, and my friend was like, yeah, I don't hear anything. So I start looking around the room, and there's a telephone in our closet. And uh, like, we're in the lounge, but I didn't, like, why would there be a telephone in the closet? And they were like, yeah, well, don't pick it up. It's probably, like, you'll probably get in trouble. I was like, we didn't do anything. Like, so I picked it up anyway, and uh, I was glad I did, because it was a uh, writer by the name of Bill Shackner from the Pittsburgh Post-Gazette, and he was uh, inquiring about how it was to live in a lounge instead of a regular room. <laughs> so I obviously you know, gave him some answers and stuff, and uh, he was uh, oddly surprised to find out that I loved it. And uh, so anyway. He set up a, an appointment to come and take a picture of us in the room, and he got a picture of us. And uh, what well, we were known as like some of the bad guys, like in this in this dorm, like from all the RAs. And uh, our RA hated us. And uh, we, but like the RD, the resident director, came up and like brought the RA in the room and was like, "Oh, these guys are the best. Like they're here. They're talking about how great the university is. Like." We gave him a little bit of adversity. Look what they did with it. And our RA, I can just see him, like, you know, he's got his legs crossed. Like, he's just, he's, you know. Anyway, uh, we weren't a fan, but he wasn't a fan of us. So anyway, uh, this is like maybe on a Friday, and he told us it'd be in the Monday issue of the Pittsburgh Post-Gazette. And so uh, I tell everyone in my family, I tell everyone, like, you got to check it out. And uh, so, of course, I didn't see it until that Monday. I picked up a copy of it, and I was looking at it. And we're on, not only are we in it, but we were on the front page. And there's a picture of us. And there's like, you know, my two friends playing video games, and I'm just sitting in the background. And then a huge magic mushroom poster that my friend had on his side of the room. And I was like, <laughs> oh my god. I was like, oh, I didn't think that was in the picture. And uh, I was like, I told everyone in my family to look at it. And uh, there's a huge Bob Marley. Anyway, so in the picture, you just see this huge mushroom and like half of Bob Marley's face. And that's about it. So I was like, all right, that's not too bad. And uh, then I go online and check out the online portion, because everyone that I know lives here. And the online portion has a much bigger picture. <laughs> At the top of the mushroom picture, with full bob, and then uh, top of the mushroom picture says, eat me. And I was like, <laughs> people are going to be, yeah. So you know, I got some odd responses back about that. I was like, yeah, on my side of the room. Like, I, I don't know. Like, I don't know. Never heard of that before. And, uh, so then <laughs> my grandma, I called her, and I was like, oh, hey, yeah. Like, she's like, oh, that's so great. Like, you guys are so great. And I was like, yeah, I didn't even do anything. I just got lumped in here. But she's like, yeah, what was that? She's like, what were all those pictures? And I was like, oh, that's, she's like, yeah, what was that eat me in the mushroom? I was like, <laughs> I was like, it's just my friend's favorite band. It's kind of weird. I was like, <laughs> you know, so. I brought the newspaper, no props here or anything, but <laughs> brought the newspaper, uh, and I brought the picture of us online. And uh, it's all in ink, but I don't know. It's pretty funny. <laughs>